I, I have BCBAs who are graduating who have no idea what RFT is. I mean, are, that's what I'm trying to say. Are you guys getting out? I mean, I know that there was a lot of resistance for a while there with you guys, but are you seeing it getting out there? I mean, yeah. I mean, I have BCBAs so, who literally have never even heard of the term RFT. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I blame our graduate training institutions for teaching a version of behavior analysis that was relevant in the 1980s. I think it's time to show up in 2020 and start to do that work. Um, so I, I blame our graduate institutions. I, I blame our graduate training faculty um, for that. To bring it to the forefront though, so a couple of things. So if anyone's interested in running, uh, learning how to run Peak and kind of the basic theory behind it, um, we did create a, a asynchronous six hour training that you can purchase and become level one uh, Peak certified. And so it provides kind of that background information of how to run it. It's designed in a way that should be consumable to behavior analysts as well as RBTs. And so it's nice because whenever they have that six hour pocket of time, which I know that's, you know, not always a reality, but it might be worth the time if you get that payoff and efficiency um, to have them watch, have them do that training. And then once they have that background, have them start to implement programs, uh, measure their fidelity, bring them up to some sort of mastery criteria on early programs. And then as the programs in peak become more compl complicated, um, you can see their efficiency with those increasing over time. And maybe you put them with clients who are running earlier programs at the early part of their journey. But then as they start to master their knowledge of RFT and how to run these more complicated programs, pairing them up with clients where you're running those more complicated, more cognitive um, type programs. And so that would be the first step. And then coronavirus happened. And before that, um, we were traveling kind of all over the country running uh, six hour in-person hands-on trainings. Um, and so that's something too, that if you're interested in, uh, in those and what's upcoming, uh, you can email Emergent Learning Academy um, and they can give you some updates on what's happening with that. Uh, that's been on pause though, because, you know, COVID. Cool, I linked to that. There's a whole lot on that web page since I last clicked in. You all were doing trainings around the world too, not just around the US. There's a lot of stuff going on with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was huge and it had a ton of momentum. And then like, I'm sure you guys experienced with your companies too. It's just like, yeah, COVID, Yeah. right? And so we kind of hit like a COVID wall, but um, we're hoping that everything works out and we're able to get back on the road and, and train you guys on how to run Peak. And again, Peak's just a tool that like helps you to implement RFT. So. One, one of my hunches, one yeah. of my hunches as to why it doesn't uh, uh, get trained quite as easily is just because I, I agree with you on the the what you alluded to with the training programs, but also I felt like the I don't know, like it takes it takes a I think for many it takes a little bit more than just the the six course training sequence. So like you see this more in programs that have more of that flushed out and like have really worked on their scope and sequence, really bring in the philosophy early, I think is where you see those a little bit more. So um, part of that depends on, um, I think as a function of like, it takes a while to, to consume a like our, our field rapidly growing and expanding, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, to be honest, Ryan, like I'm, I'm terrified because like, I feel like we're kind of at a crossroads now too, right? where our field, you guys, want to expand what we can do. To do so requires adopting potentially more complicated models of human behavior because it turns out humans are immensely complicated, shockingly more complicated than mm -hmm. an ABC thing allows us to play with. And so I think part of the challenge is what do we do? And so do we say, no, 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 we're only gonna do a simple things that fit clean in this ABC model. Um, that's cool, we can turn out clinicians fast, but the scope of our field becomes about this big. Yeah. Or we find ways to um, get into complexity and be willing to entertain it and be able to support practitioners who want to use complex ideas to solve complex problems. Totally agree.